folks, uh, welcome back to the Moshiks uh, mainframe channel. Uh, this is Moshiks. Today we're going to be looking, as I promised in uh, in a previous video, at my uh, at my Open VMS Vax cluster installation, which is running on this computer that you see on your screen right now. Um, it's uh, I've been doing Open VMS uh, for a while. Uh, uh, I had a little bit of, of exposure to uh, open VMS or VMS rather back at uh, college. In fact, the very first, um, the very first uh, mainframe computer I touched was when I was about 10 or 12 years old at the Newcastle uh, University in Australia. I visited some family there and my cousin brought me to the data center and they had just received a couple of weeks before a VAX 11780 um, and uh, and I went with him into the data center and I, and I touched that computer and we played Space Wars Space War on uh, on one of the terminals uh, pretty amazing um, and so I've always been fascinated with uh, VMS and then open VMS and then later on I had uh, a professional interest in in the VAX cluster because to this day the VAX cluster is probably the most um, advanced and most feature complete uh, clustering technology that ever existed um, and that and that is also that that definition that I just said also includes the IBM Sysplex cluster um, oh, the VAX cluster is just it's just an amazing technology. So, um, a friend of mine um, in Finland uh, is a, is an Open VMS specialist, and I have been I have been running some uh, uh, Open VMS um, uh, emulated systems before on my Linux machines, and then um, I wanted to play with clustering. And I don't know enough Open VMS to define a cluster, but my friend. Samsa in uh, Finland, uh, he is a guru, and he put together for me a monster cluster installation with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, 500 gigabyte disks, and um, and then about six or seven, um, six or seven systems, um, Open VMS hosts that come up. Uh, each one on its own SIM H emulator, and uh, and they all cluster together. It's just a, a thing of beauty. And so what I'm doing now is I uh, I I suspended this machine, so I should be able now to just um, <coughs> log in, and then uh, I mean restart the machine. It's restoring. Let's see where we are with this. And if I remember all the passwords, it's a very heavy um, installation, and uh, I honestly sometimes uh, struggle on this computer, even though it's it has eight threads, four cores, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and very fast i7 CPUs. Uh, there's such just so much uh, running in this, inside the virtual machine that my machine sometimes sometimes struggles. And I don't know if the video. Uh, editing software and the screen recording is going to keep up with all that. We'll see that in post-production. Um, alrighty, so uh, this is up and running. I think I usually log in. Um, yeah, so that's the address. And um, again, you should not do in a production machine, what I'm doing here. Um, okay, so um, there's no point in looking at this thing here, uh, which is running on top of my VMware, VMware Workstation Pro environment. Um, we should rather look at this screen here. And, and the reason is that, uh, well, if I look at the machine from this level here, you see there's a bunch of um, SIM H VAXs running here. These are all 3,900 VAXs. And one is called Ebisu, one is called Tako, Hamachi, uh, Hirami, Suzuki, Unagi, and uh, these are all, by the way, sushi names. Um, this is all fish names in Japanese. Um, and um, and you can see here, the machine is, is quite busy with four CPUs. Uh, it's working. And now, how do I, how do we see what's going on here? 
So um, the way my friend uh, in Finland set this up for me is that Taco is the boot node. That's this machine here. Um, I don't know what's going on. Okay. And a monitor cluster. This is OpenVMS. It takes a while. But eventually it will collect all the information from all the other nodes. And you can see here um, Sunday 25th, so this is today's day. The load is, is quite high. Um, it's not quite able yet to. Hmm. Oh, I see what's going on here. Uh -huh. So, um, yeah, I have. I'm running screen inside screen, and that is just not a very good idea. So let's um, start a new session here, duplicate session. Yeah, but it's going to go to the same node. That's no good. I have to start a new uh, party session. Okay, so one connect to my to my uh, emulated uh, machine with the cluster inside. Appearance will make this uh, twenty size, so you can see this on your screen. Okay. Okay, so this is what we're going to be looking at. Um, yeah, so you can see here, uh, this is OpenVMS, the monitor utility. The date is slightly off. I don't know why it thinks it's October 28th, but uh, not a big problem. And we can see the whole cluster here. Uh, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six. There should be a seventh one. Uh, Samsa is phoning me. <laughs> so actually, this is in real time, friends. My friend is actually pinging me. Uh, He's also texting me. Um, so let's phone answer. Yeah, I'm on, by the way, so one of the amazing things here is that there is a deck net, um, an international worldwide deck net. So phone answer. Hello. Now, I don't know enough about this phone utility, but this is amazing. As I'm recording this video, he's, he's calling me. Um, so, I don't know. Oh, it's calling me on the wrong system. Okay, I told him to call me on, on this node because um, there's several nodes here. I think, yeah, he's, he's uh, phoning me on this system. So, um, yeah, he's logging in um, from remote into this node. This is quite amazing. So, what I want to show you is that I can set. Okay, now he's calling me again. Uh, phone answer.
This is all in real time. Um, it's not that amazing. So this is actually very funny. <laughs> I didn't plan for this at all. Um, I hope you'll believe me. Uh, I just didn't know he was going to contact me as I'm recording this. Um, uh, how can I log into uh, This is amazing. So what we're going to do is I'm going to set host Hilland and that's one of his machines and his that machine is actually in Finland and um, I'll wait for his username and password and uh, and we're, but we're already connected to it so that, that's an amazing thing. So what's going on is I have this uh, VAX uh, cluster running inside a virtual machine on this Windows machine and then from here, uh, there's a worldwide, uh, there's a worldwide uh, HECnet, um, which is a decknet that's all over the world. And um, let me show you here. Uh, what is HECnet? HECnet is a, is a decknet that connects different people all around the world. And there are uh, virtual machines as well as uh, real uh, VAX machines. And you can see here the extent, the size of this network. Um, they go from the the maintainer of the whole world of the whole uh, network is a guy called Johnny Belquist. Uh, he runs it on a real uh, PDP 11, um, and uh, that's the that's the master node. And then uh, people connect from all over the world. And uh, down here somewhere uh, should be my machine, which you can connect to. Obviously, um, well, it should be here somewhere, but I can't. But, but anyway, so this is um, these are all machines on the on the network. I could connect to any of this. Uh, in fact, I have an account on Magica, I think, um, and uh, and so the operating systems are RSX11 for the PDP11s, and then there's some Ultrix machines. Um, there's some Linux machines as well. Linux actually can do DeckNet. Um, and then plenty of open VMSs, uh, even a Windows NT, I don't know how he connects there. And RS611, there's probably some RSTS uh, as well. Um, okay, I got the password in the meantime. So, um, set host Hilad, connecting over to Finland. And then, and password. Hopefully that went through, yes. And we're now in Finland. Uh, isn't that amazing? So this is not TCP IP. This is a different protocol. This is uh, HECnet, uh, what I just uh, what I was just showing before. And um, uh, this uh, uh, is a worldwide um, network of uh, of enthusiasts uh, who, who like the uh, tech architecture. Now. One thing about HP, the, the people who ultimately bought uh, digital equipment um, and so therefore own the OpenVMS um, uh, operating system is that they have an enthusiast um, last licensing uh, scheme. 
uh, open VMS and enthusiast license. So you can get a license for any uh, hub, uh, they call it the hobbyist program. Welcome to the Open BMS Hobbyist Pro Portal. You can register there and get a license for any operating system they have um, and play with it. And that's been great for HP, even though they've obviously completely abandoned uh, the Open VMS um, um, operating system. But IBM should do something like this. IBM should have a way to get people who love um, the IBM mainframe to get um, hobbyist um, licenses. So hobby licenses, not for commercial purposes. It would help so much in spreading out um, the IBM mainframe and uh, ZOS and ZVM and, and uh, VSE uh, knowledge, uh, but they're just they're just so obtuse and not able to even think about that. I mean, this is great thinking by HP, uh, Bravo. Um, it's just beautiful, and and I hope IBM one day could do the same. If anybody at IBM is listening. Take an example from HP in this case. Um, um, so anyway, so this is all working, and you can now. Okay, there's IRC. Obviously, there's uh, um, there is some games. Um, let's see what happens here. Okay. Looks like not everything is working here, but um, so we can terminate this. I should have IRC though. Um, IRC should work. Yeah. So, um, and I'm, I'm on IRC 2600 net, and that goes obviously out through TCP IP. So, OpenVMS is able to do TCP IP and DECnet. Um, if I um, uh, show net, so um, this is the two networks I'm on. I'm, I can be reached here on this address, um, so I can do this. Uh, new session appearance 20 as well as uh, just log in with normal TCP IP to my open VMX cluster oops that's not working why is that not working we'll find out um, but um, I'll get to that in a second. But so I am on both TCP IP as well as on DECnet. And when I do set post uh, Hilland, then obviously I'm logging in um, with, uh, with DECnet. And uh, let me log in here. Okay. So now I'm logged in from both uh, Taco, this node, which is the boot node for the whole cluster, as well as from this. Um, so this is the command. Sometimes it's a little slow because the whole deck net is emulated through a t over is over emulated over TCP IP. Um, it's a little complicated to explain, but. Um, um, my friend here in Finland just told me um, that Tetris is available. Let's see how fast Tetris works. Okay, Tetris. Yep, something is happening. Yep. Okay, so it's a kind of a slow Tetris because the connection is a little slow, uh, but it all works. I could also connect directly through uh, SSH to this uh, Hilant machine. It also has an, SS, uh, an SSH server installed. So there's several ways to connect to that, but um, um, just showing that uh, uh, what's doable. Okay, so immortal players. Oh, shit. 
okay and now I exist here on his uh, rank here um, okay Okay, so exiting and I'm back on my local system. Um, now let's, oh, I know what the problem was with the SSH. Um, okay, let's do it like this, new session, telnet. Okay, now we'll be able to show that my TCP ID is also working. I was logging with SSH, that's why it wasn't working. Okay, so you can do 22. Okay, yeah. And I'm in. So uh, this is now Telnet, which obviously is TCP IP, and uh, just exactly the same thing. Um, okay, I have here also a uh, Okay. So let's do this again. I have basic installed here. Load things really fast. Oh. Okay. Well, I don't remember the commands, but um, what I have here is um, I have the Queens, my usual Queens uh, solver. Uh, Queens is uh, the chessboard of X times X or N times N, and then you have to place N Queens on the chessboard so that no Queen threatens the other. And I had this program in BASIC, because um, I haven't done BASIC in a very long time, and it works. And, uh, and then I have also, of course, uh, the C compiler. I have PL1, PL1. Uh, I have to find it. I have Fortran. I even have COBOL installed. Um, uh, what else do I have installed? Um, a couple of other uh, programming languages. And um, anyway, so the, for me, the fun thing here is to see this. Um, so I have, uh, this is my cluster, Taco, Ibisu, Hamachi, Hirame, Nari, Suzuki. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven nodes. And they're all in this cluster together. And uh, very, very stable. Um, it's been up and running for, we'll see in a second how, how long it's been running. Um, yeah, uh, show sys. So, oh, make the window a little bigger. So this has been running for uh, just a day and 23 hours. Um, yeah, I had this started not too long ago, uh, but I had it once running for about six months and, um, and uh, very, very stable. Uh, I think OpenVMS is probably the, uh, and ZOS, I have to say, are probably some of the most stable operating systems out there um, and uh, nothing else, not even Linux come, comes close. Um, 
Uh, Linux is stable, but it's just there's way too much in the kernel to make it as stable as OpenVMS. They've just uh, they just put too much uh, software in it. Um, but this thing here is very very stable. Uh, so um, and at the base of all of it, I just wanted to show you. Um, so these are all screen sessions. Then I have this bridge here. This is the bridge that um, connects my uh, deck net to the outside world. And on the, the bridge on the other end is my friend in Finland. So this, uh, these packets are going to Finland. And that's how I connect to the rest of the deck net out there in the world. And um, all this thanks to my friend in Finland. I hope I, he is allowing me to say his name. His name is Samsa, amazing guy. Um, and uh, and this is the machine. So I have uh, I have uh, for each for each um, um, machine I have here its own. So we can go into this one, and so this is the initialization file for sim age. Uh, actually, this should be okay, fixed. Um, so this is, oh, and then it has a disk. Each one has its own disk. This is the network. Each one has its own uh, MAC address, obviously. Um, and then uh, SimH starts this, uh, which SimH. SimH is here somewhere. And here is, are the disks. Uh, this is the paging disk. This is the NVRAM for the uh, for the uh, uh, VAX, because the NVRAM dump. Uh, has to be obtained separately and, uh, and this is how this is all set up so all this runs on this machine here uh, with four CPUs and I give it I think eight gigabytes of RAM or something like this and these are uh, these are the instances here you can see them all here and this is the bridge As you can see it's connecting to uh, my friend in Finland and uh, this has been running for for a while now. Very, very. I just want to show a little bit of the network traffic this generates. Okay. So um, that one, it's idle. Actually, not that many packets. Twenty six hundred sixty packets per second. Not that many, but um, this is all really works well and. Uh, um, let me finish this off again with showing off my cluster here. And uh, for any questions, if, if you guys want to set something up, um, I can probably help you. Um, I have, uh, I, I understand enough now to know how to set it all up. Um, I'll be happy, be happy to help if anybody has questions. I hope this has been a, uh, an entertaining tour of my OpenVMS cluster to all of you and uh, uh, thank you for watching e please do subscribe to my channel if you want to get notified of future video releases uh, if you like this video press on the thumbs up button and uh, see you soon for one of my videos thank you very much goodbye